Mandy thinks so too. Hi, He's Mandy. Like, <laughs> Mandy. Oh God, help me! God help me! <laughs> I feel like I'm tripping. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> then we've got Lauren going to the salon to check out a must-have hair trend at Issa Extension. Right, and here's a love a good holiday cocktail. Oh, that's all we need right now is some cocktails. Carrie Glassman is here with some do's and don'ts. Yeah, really? We'll be right back. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Here he is, and he's really terrified I'm being in the middle of us. Mandy Pickens, oh, welcome. Hello. We're so happy you're here. Thank you. Do you I'm want happy to comment to on celebrity faux pas when it comes to clothing or any of the chick stuff we've been talking about? <laughs> no, Mandy. I don't want to comment. I don't want to say anything about it. Patty's Patty Sag Award or anything? No, I don't want to say anything about that. <laughs> I think that's terrorist. We just want to talk about. Do you know one thing we do want to talk about? Yeah, sure. We were. <laughs> you are such a scaredy cat. Okay. So of course you guys are doing an evening with Patty Lapone and Mandy Patankin. Yes. And we've we've been. You know what we love. Jackie and I love the scene where you guys are dancing the in chair the chairs. So who came up with that? Annie Reinking. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, she's a dear friend of ours, and we asked her to choreograph a dance that I could do. Patty could probably do anything, but I, I was know. a little more concerned, and so she gave us a, a, a chair dance. Well, at one point, you kicked Patty's chair, and she goes flying off the stage. Did Very gracefully. Yeah. No. yeah. And I thought, oh, my. Okay, so there, you guys, we have this great clip we want to look at. That's when you're talking about deciding to do a Vita, because that's really where you guys first worked together. Oh, yeah, okay. So watch this. Let's look at this. I go down to the Schubert Theater. I stand on the white line. I did a couple of songs. I went home, went back to rehearsal downtown. Next day, they called me up and said that I got the part. I said, what part? I didn't even know what part I was auditioning for. They said the part of Che. I said, well, who's, who's the lady? They said, Patty Lapone. I said, I'll do it. <laughs> History. You guys ended up both winning Tonys for it, mm -hmm. and I understand that at the beginning, because you talked earlier about how difficult some of the, vo the vocal was in it, that you two really bonded, that you'd kind of hug each other and go out for cocktails, and that was it. Well, we were kids. We were scared, and uh, there was an awful lot of attention. We were not uh, taught how to deal with all this, and we were terrified. I certainly was, and oh. I knocked on Patty's door one night, and it opened up a crack. I said, let me in, and she started to close the door. I said, let me in, please, and I, we closed the door. And I looked at her and I said, I'm not leaving here till you know you have a friend for life. And then we grabbed Aww. each other and, and we never let go. Uh, and then we've been at each other's weddings and children's events. And I've seen, you know, all the things she's done over the years. And, and it's just ironic that we never had a chance to work together until a few years ago somebody wanted us to do a show, you know, where we each did like 20 minutes down in Texas. And I hate those evenings where you each do 20 minutes and sing a song and then leave. And, and before I threw it out, I went over to talk to Patty and my piano player and collaborator Paul Ford, I said, you think we can put together an evening that's a story, that'll tell a fun story that we could have for the rest of our lives and keep changing it. And, and Patty said, go for it, doll. So we did. And you and tell... Is, uh, oh, go ahead, Sarah. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, this was 2002, right? Uh, about nine years ago. And then there was like a four-year gap where we're, our, we're, our schedules, you know, we were just too busy. And then about four years ago, we had uh, some available window time where we were able to really hit the road hot and heavy and we took it all over the world. We've been taking it and we're continuing. This is just a... Broadway's just a stop. We're, yeah. We go from Broadway to Kansas City right. and, and wow. elsewhere. That's <laughs> why we weren't extending, and we said, we got a date in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> well, Patty had told us earlier her version of why the two, of two, the two of you clicked so early and have been friends for years. What's your version of it? Why? I know you had that moment early, but what's made it last so long? Well, if you ask me, I, I would say, and please forgive me if I'm saying something you don't want said, but, you know, we, we appear strong in roles we play. But what moves me and touches me about Patty is, is, is she's like an eggshell. Mm. Uh, her heart is, is fragile. And I just knew it. I felt it. I saw it back then, 30-some years ago. And, and, and I thought we were brother and sister in yeah. that way. I thought we were from the same heartbeat. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and that's, that's it for me. Wow. Know? That's, that's why so amazing. many people continue to go see you guys. The chemistry is undeniable. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you're so good together. And on I'm stage, sure it's just continue wonderful. Watching. Well, you should be on stage with her. Well, you get to do this. <laughs> I would but, love but you do, Mandy. We are on stage with her right now. I know, I know. But, it's but you really, too, you know, Mandy, I'm playing off of you. And, and 
you know, it's, I, I said this before, that when you find an acting partner that, you know, a, a friend is one thing and then something can happen when they say, Mandy is my dear friend and Mandy is my acting partner on stage. Oh, and that's, that's great. And when you find that, it's rare, it should be more frequent than it is, but when you find it, it's a, you never lose it. You always know that whatever you do, whatever can I production. Say that I just love that the whole time these two have been <laughs> holding, holding hands, hands during this whole thing. It's All right, we, we've, we've got to run right now, but thank you so much for stopping in. It's such a pleasure to have you both. Oh, Thanks for having yeah. us. An evening so with at, Patty Lapone and Mandy Patankin on Broadway, the Barrymore Theater. Theater, I can't even talk. You're through doing January fine. 13th. And Homeland, your big Yay! show, the one to get you on Sunday night. Sunday night. Sunday night. Thank you. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you for not asking me about clothes. <laughs> oh, do it, Sarah. I don't know what Molly did. <laughs> <laughs> We're quoting since it's broad. I'll give you a nickel for that one. <laughs> for for the whole time. kind of extension that's getting a lot of attention. And all they, all they involve is a little adhesive. Lauren Scala learned how it all works. Oh, and home? Yes, she said the show. Wow, that looks she good. Oh, yeah, really it does. Okay, guess what we're going to talk about next? Uh, <laughs> cocktail. 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 <laughs> Huh? With winter right around the corner, some of your favorite holiday flavored drinks are back in season. But before you run out and grab that hot chocolate, New York Live Health contributor Carrie Glassman is here to tell us that it might not be worth it. What? So she's going to turn us off these drinks. <laughs> okay, let's first start <laughs> with. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. Certainly. <laughs> Don't apply your lipstick right before you drink. Before you drink. <laughs> this is how close they are. Mandy doing makeup after that yeah. show. Thank you, Mandy. <laughs> Okay, hidden calories. Well, it may not be worth it, but the problem here is that people have these drinks every single day, especially when these drinks are just in season. Okay, we Starbucks peppermint mocha frappuccino has a lot of sugar in that. 420 calories, 76 Ooh. grams of sugar. That's like eight Reese's peanut butter cups. If you have one of those every day until New Year's, you're going to gain four pounds. I'd okay. rather eat the peanut butter cup. Exactly. Go Next, we have the eggnog. The eggnog mm. latte. That is 470 calories. Oh. Half your day's worth of cholesterol, two-thirds of your day's saturated fat. Better to go for another hot drink like a hot toddy, black tea with a little bit of brandy or whiskey. That's All right, good. cinnamon is another big flavor for fall. Dunkin' Donuts cinnamon swirl latte. That is going to have 440 calories, oh, 60, 68 grams of sugar. Go for a small 170 calories and the skim milk, and you'll save a lot of calories. Have you okay. ever been on The Price is Right? <laughs> Hear this? It ain't cold in the studio. Hello. Thank you, Mandy and Patty. Thank you so much. It's great having you guys here. I really appreciate it. I'm going to get out of here. I love it. Tomorrow, behind the scenes of the Rockefeller Center, tree lighting. Oh, God. Now, with the traffic patterns, the city will be at a standstill.